Hello everyone, welcome back to Jerry's View. On today's episode, we will be giving away 4 waterproof cases for iPhone 6 and 6S Plus by Pad Pepper Case. Details will be at the end of this video. But first, let's take a quick look at the Pad Pepper waterproof case. Hello everyone, welcome back to Jerry's View. Today we're going to take a quick look at the waterproof case for iPhone 6 and 6S Plus by Pad Pepper Case. Sold at Amazon.ca. Let's get started. In the box you will find a quick checklist guide, a 3.5 jack extension, a fed pepper case opener, uh, you will use this to open the, the case, cleaning cloth, strap, user manual and the pad pepper waterproof case now let's take a look at the case the pad pepper waterproof case is split into two pieces the front and the back so the front is made of plastic with a plastic screen so you can still use the touch screen and then on the where the, uh, the the speaker is for your ear and the camera there's a hole with a uh, plastic cover again it's a very thin layer of plastic and then there's a mesh which is this mesh would still transfer audio and protect protect your phone from getting wet and here at the bottom, it's the same thing. There's a mesh and a rubber, and this rubber is loose. Um, there are holes right there. So for your uh, for the microphone, and then uh, here is for the uh, home key, which is has a thin layer of film, so you could still use your um, fingerprint. And then the whole surrounding or the whole frame, the whole frame of the uh, the waterproof case is um, sealed by a silicone or rubber um, framing, or I don't know how we call it, but it is surrounded by a silicone or rubber uh, to seal the case. Now let's look at the back part. The back part is again same, made with the same pl uh, plastic. And then at the back, there's a window just for the logo and then another window covered by the same thin layer of plastic for the camera. And then on the side, it is a, a rubbery, but not really soft rubbery texture plastic. And then see here is the button, soft. A little bit rubbery so you, you, you can um, turn off or turn on your uh, your your phone and then here is the volume again the material is soft and this is for the silent switch toggle switch 
So when you turn it, it flicks the uh, the sleep, no, the silent switch. And then at the bottom, there's there's a flap that covers the uh, charging port, thick rubber. And then on the other side is the uh, for the headphone. Now at the back, you can see here is the camera holes, which is protected by a thin layer of plastic, clear plastic. And then there is the stand, so you can use it for watching. So there you go. How it works is you put your phone inside here for at the back and then you put the front cover and seal it together and you will hear a snap that means it's it's locked that, that snap there you go so if you want to use your headphone because the case is thick your headphone will not reach or if you use if you remove this you will lose the uh, the waterproof uh, capability of the case that's why they provided you with the extension jack the extension jack has a screw right here so you could put it in and screw it in So you can maintain the waterproof capability of the case. Now we will sample this and what we'll do instead of using a phone, we will use a paper inside here. So when we test it in water, we could easily see even a small drop of water. If, it, if, if a small drop of water goes into the case, we could easily see it because the paper will easily absorb it not like if we use a phone we might not detect it because of the, the color or the texture of the phone so that's how we're going to do our test here here is a uh, tissue paper we're just gonna fold it and we're gonna place it inside Okay, so here is a pot of water, of course it's not hot, and here is our case with the tissue paper inside, so we're going to just drop it in. We're going to push it in, see bubbles coming out, that's a lot of bubbles, that's not a good sign. As I press in, the, the uh, press in to the... Uh, the screen air is coming out from the uh, phone the question is is water coming in okay. we're gonna put some weight on it and keep it under water for a while and see if water is going to go in. Here you go. It's been more than five minutes now. And let's check it. Okay. 
and here's the case so what we're gonna do is we're going to dry it so there's no water from outside gonna go going in when we open the uh, the case Okay, so I think it's pretty much dried up already. Um, I don't want to open those part. Okay, this part is a little bit open, so hopefully it held the, uh, the, the ceiling. There you go. So... If you look at the uh, front case, you can see water around it before the seal. But after the seal, there is no water. Even here where the air was coming out, there is no water. Air goes out, but water stays out. And let's look at the tissue paper. Tissue paper seems to be, there's a small dot there which I think was caused by when we opened it. Um, yeah, I don't see any, any leak. And on the back part, yeah, you can see that there, the water is on the other side. And again, it's all the water on the frame that's before the seal. But anything after the seal is all dry. Even the uh, where the jack is, it's perfectly sealed. I will show you why the jack works perfectly. Let me remove it. So you can see there is a rubber o-ring which is being squeezed between the plastic and the jack when you put it in. So no water is going in if this thing is on. So there you go. The pad pepper case, a waterproof case IP68 for iPhone 6 and 6S Plus. It's a perfect protection if you're going in water or close to water with your phone. It's a good device to have so you can enjoy your phone even if you're in water or close to water and you'll have that peace of mind that your phone will stay safe at all time. So we're giving away four of these cases, including this one that we tested. If you want one, just let me know in the comments below and I will pick one in two weeks or I'll pick four in two weeks. So subscribe and leave me a comment on this video and I will send it once I pick the lucky four. I hope this review helps. Please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching. See you again next time on Jerry's View.